Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, in this video we're looking at five quite difficult questions. You can download the worksheet from 3 Minute Maths or please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, then compare your solution. In the previous video we completed through to the end of question 2. In this video we're going to look at question number 3. Okay, so question number three, we've got quite a little bit, uh, a bit of writing here, a few words that we need to work through. And basically what it's asking you is they want to calculate the angle of AOB, which is actually this angle on the screen here. Now in order to do that, we're told that the cone has a volume of this and a height of this. So I'm going to use that information to find out a little bit more about the cone itself. Now we've been very helpful at the top there being given the formulas that we need to use. So I'm going to use the volume formula. So the volume equals one third pi r squared h. Okay, well what information have I got? Well I've actually been told that the volume is 56.8 so I can put that in straight away. Um, it's a third multiplied by pi. Now I actually don't know the radius of the cone. It's actually this information here. But I do know that we're being told the vertical height which is going to be 3.6. Okay, so I can use my calculator and I can work everything out on that. And Basically what I end up with is the value of r squared is going to be equal to 56.8 divided by 1.2 pi. And if I put that into a calculator, I get my value of the radius of the cone as being 3.8 eight one five eight so in other words what we've done is we've worked out this information here which is three point eight eight uh, so on okay so we've got a bit more information now what we do need however is the value of the surface area of the cone in order to do that I need the slant height so in other words I need to know this information here OK, but we are told again that the height is 3.6, so that's OK because we can just use Pythagoras to actually create a right angle triangle here with a height of 3.6 and now we know the radius. So therefore we can use Pythagoras to calculate the slant height. OK, so therefore L squared, which is what I'm choosing to call it, is going to equal to the radius squared, which is 3.88158 and so on squared plus 3.6 squared, which is the vertical height. And that's going to give me then the, the value of L, which is the slant height of the cone, is going to be 5.294. OK, now what we're told is, is that the cone is formed by this particular shape. Uh, here. Okay, now that particular shape then we've worked out has actually got a radius of L which is going to be 5.294 that we've just worked out. Okay, so now that we've got that we can then use the surface area of the cone or work out the surface area of the cone. Okay, so surface area is going to be equal to pi r l. OK, well the information we've got, we know pi. Uh, we know the radius because we've already worked it out, 3.88158 and that's going to be now multiplied by the value of l which we've just worked out as 5.294. OK, when we put that into a calculator we're going to get 64.557 centimeters squared. Now that 64.55 centimeters squared is going to be the area of this sector. Okay, well that's good news for us because then we can use that information to work out the value of the angle that we're looking for which is going to be angle AOB. So what we're saying then is that angle AOB out of 360 degrees is going to be equal to pi and then r squared. Now r is actually the value of L which is the radius of 5.294 on this particular sector. So it's going to be pi multiplied by 5.294 squared and that is all going to be equal to 64. 
five five seven okay sorry I meant to do that as a multiply okay so angle AOB over 360 multiplied by effectively pi r squared is going to equal the surface area of the sector which is going to be equal to 64.557 and again once I work that out what I get is that angle AOB over 360 is going to be equal to 0 0.73326. Okay, now if I then multiply across by 360, I therefore get angle AOB, which is the question, is going to be equal to 264 degrees, and that's the answer correct to three significant figures. Okay, so quite a lot of work on this particular question, but if I just run through it very briefly, what we did is we used the volume of the cone to work out the value of R, which is the first point. And then we use that value of R to work out the value of L using Pythagoras, which is the second area. And then we use that to work out the surface area of the uh, sector itself, which is going to be this one here. And then we use that to work out the value of the angle. Okay, so quite a challenging one. Please do let me know in the comments how you got on with it, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.